Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Um, I'm so excited to start this. I'm sorry that it took me so long to actually get it up onto YouTube. I didn't realize how much I actually went into making a video, but my husband was wonderful and went out and got me everything that I needed in order to get started. And so today is going to be all about brows and I'm just going to show you my current brow routine and hopefully you can take a couple of my tips and tricks and add it to your daily routine. So let's just dive in and get started. Okay, so before I get started and take you up close and personal with my brows, I'm just going to show you some things that I do to keep up with the maintenance of my brows because my brows like to grow like forests. And so I just like to um, use this little spoolie. Um, I'm not sure if it's going to focus for you guys, but hopefully you know what a spoolie is. And then I just brush my hairs up. I just trimmed mine a couple weeks ago, so I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes. And then I take a little scissors. I like to use a nail scissors because it's just petite and you're just getting these little baby hairs and then you just cut those off. And then you do it down, you do the same thing downward, and then you just cut those. Just be sure that you don't cut the hairs within your natural brow shape. I think that keeping your natural shape is one of the most important things that you can do to enhance all the features of your face. And so I just like to go get mine threaded maybe once a month. I can sometimes even go two months just when I keep up with them and plucking the stragglers and just trimming my brow hairs. Um, I will link places that I have been before um, down below. I have a place in La Crosse, Wisconsin, and I have a place near Jacksonville, North Carolina. Um, I haven't been anywhere else, so I'm sorry to everybody else. Um, but I'm sure that there are great places. I would just look it up. But that is my trick on just how to keep up with them um, when I'm not going to go get them threaded every other week. Okay guys, so we are up close and personal with my brows. And I'm going to look into my mirror, so if I'm not looking into the camera, that is why. But I'm going to show you because if, when I first started filling in my brows, I filled in the whole thing and they were all just super thick until I found the Anastasia Brow Wiz. I think this is the perfect product for a beginner. It lasts forever. And I just really like it um, because you kind of have to build the product. It's not one of those things that you put it on and you have just painted on your brows completely. You kind of have to build it and so it's not like you're going to have um, just blocks on your face once you're done. Um, and it's important to just do really light strokes and I think that this just makes it really easy. This is again the Anastasia Brow Wiz. I don't know if I told you that yet. <laughs> and um, and I use the color dark brown and I just got it at Ulta here in Jacksonville but you can get it at Sephora and I will also leave a link down below for so that you can order it online um, but I just really like this product and I also I know that it's um, a high end and a little bit more pricey but I think that it's one of those products that's really worth um, spending your money on because I will show you that, I don't know if it's really going to show you, but it's just so thin that you can get a really precise sculpt of your brow and also it won't crumble, like it's very durable that it won't just like crumble and you'll have like little pieces from your pencil on your brows and so I really like that about it too. Okay guys, so I like to start in the middle of my brows and work it back and just start with the tail of my brows, um, fill it in. I like to build up the product. It's supposed to be darker and more full and thick at the tail of your brow. And so I just like to start with light strokes and build up the product so that I just don't go 
just great guns with my brows and just get out of control. <laughs> um, but here I am. I start with the bottom and then I do the top and then I slowly fill in the front and build up the product like I had mentioned before and just bring it back to the same point at the tail of my brow and then I slowly bring it forward. Again, I really want to emphasize the fact that this is all super light-handed and um, just built building up the product um, and then I just like to make like little strokes like little hairs in the front just super light and then make sure that it's also sharp because I like that nice crisp clean brow and then I take my little spoolie love it it's going to be your best friend <laughs> and that just blends everything making it more natural so you don't have any little um, lines or imperfections within your brow and just kind of blends everything together so this part is for the people that <laughs> Um, feel like they just didn't get very straight lines or just kind of want to correct their little mistakes that they made. Um, a lot of people use concealer um, for this part, but I found that eyeshadow works better for me. I feel like it's just not as intense and I think it just kind of highlights my brow bone and I kind of like that. So I just use my Kat Von D eyeshadow palette and I just use the white color. Any white eyeshadow would work for this. I was kind of just struggling getting it into the camera, and I just like to put it <laughs> on my eyelids. I couldn't do it in the computer screen, so I had to grab my mirror. <laughs> and that is it. And that's just an easy way to clean up your little imperfections and mistakes. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe. Bless, 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 bless.